Hello everybody and welcome to another Chelsea FC career mode. This is episode actually number four and uh, to start things off I just want to thank you guys because I've had I've only I've actually only uploaded the first two episodes so far I'm actually pre-recording kind of um, The third video will be going up a little bit later today uh, And then this video will be on tomorrow. So I guess today now, but uh, <laughs> well, yeah, I just want to thank you guys 90 views on my first two videos, which is absolutely insane and I believe we've hit over 10 likes on out of those 90 views so it's absolutely amazing and some awesome feedback from you guys really appreciate it but uh yeah i kind of messed up i didn't really save um we are still at the same game and everything but sergio biscuits has actually accepted his contract before the game so i'm going to accept him into the team but i'm not actually going to play him i don't think because i think that's a little bit unfair because i basically got a second shot at getting him before the game and he's going to be a big influence player because it's um well, maybe I'll play him as a sub or something, but I think he'd make a big difference in the game. And I think it's unfair because going into this episode, I wasn't supposed to have him for this Arsenal game. And I think, um, yeah, I just think it's unfair that we would play him against uh, against Arsenal here. So we're going to go into the Queen's Shield against Arsenal without him. But yeah, guys, I'll get back to you guys when we get a starting 11 set up. All right, guys, so here we are in the Community Shield at the Wembley Stadium, the beautiful Wembley Stadium. And um, yeah, stadium I actually really want to go visit in real life and hopefully we'll one day do just that. But here we go. They have Mirta Sacker captaining their side today. And for some reason, John Terry isn't the captain of my team. I don't know why. But he is starting John Terry, but he's not the captain for some weird reason. So hopefully uh, that won't inflict anything. But they do have uh, Giroud. And his hair's on point. Arsenal did win this fixture in real life. So it would be an interesting thing if we can get off to a good start here to the season and uh, get some silverware. Al wins the ball, but then we lose it back to Arsenal here, and Arsenal just not giving us that ball. Bursting by with some pace here. Who is that? Nacho Monreal with a dangerous ball in here. Not sure what to do. I don't want to get a foul. Mazito Zil plays Giroud, and it's a great save from Courtois. Another very slow start for us in this game. And uh, Arsenal looking to do us here in Wembley. And it's a pretty nerve-wracking time here. We're not really playing. We're not off to a good start. Almost gave away a foul, it looked like. And uh, back inside from Arsenal. This is where their dangerous Arsenal is just in front of the goal here. And it's a great strike, and it's just wide. Who was that? That was Olivier Giroud making me, uh, making my heart beat a little bit there. He was that, like, that tall, really, but in the game, he looks just as big as John Terry. And Cahill, I'm not sure what kind of a dance move that was, but it didn't really help as Courtois grabbed the ball. I'm here at Wembley. Nil-nil, not really looking like much of an interesting fixture here. And uh, so far, there has been not much for shots on our department. We are getting absolutely destroyed if you look at those stats. I don't even want to look at them. Absolutely embarrassing at this point in time. So I'm actually going to bring on a few changes here to the team. I'm going to make... And uh, yeah, we'll get back in the second half. I'm only making one change here, and it's going to be Oscar on for Eden Hazard. Hazard has not been the player that I've needed in this game. I don't know why, but for some reason, I think... I, I just feel like... I mean, you'd think that he'd be just a really good Pedro, um, Eden Hazard. You'd think he'd be like a, a better Pedro, as Pedro just loses the ball there for me, though. But I've, I've actually enjoyed using Pedro, and if he's injured, I'm going to be absolutely gutted because I just subbed off Eden Hazard. And that will ruin my team here. Lovely ball outside from Oscar. And Willian, I'll take a throw in from that. Already a little bit more lively in this, uh, this little bit here. So Sask Fabregas on the ball. We're gonna play it across, one more across, around the corner for Pato, who can maybe get in the inside here, strikes it, scores! Oh my goodness, it's, I think that's Pato with the goal, and Chelsea, it is? What a substitution that was, and it's undeserved. It is very undeserved. Pato with an absolute fantastic goal, just around the corner, and it is Mertesacker's against, so the pace was on his side. But what a debut for Pato. I am impressed with that finish. He cuts in on his left foot and just absolutely smashes it by good old Petr Cech. In an absolute brilliant moment for us there. That could be enough to see us win the uh, Community Shield here. Which didn't happen in real life. But it's a great opportunity for us. And let's go. We gotta just defend this now. Two minutes here for Arsenal. And it is, it's all over here guys, we've gotten a massive 1-0 win against Arsenal in the Community Shield and it's our first bit of silverware in the series. And Alexander Pato of all people is our man to get the goal and get us on the right foot here. And uh, that's exciting because I, I, I don't know, I was really not sure about Pato but he seems to me just like another kind of similar player to Diego Costa a little bit. And I mean I didn't have the ball with him of, a lot in this game but he was... 
He was there when it counted and he got us a massive bit of silverware here. I guess it's not the biggest trophy, but it is trophy nonetheless. And it is Chelsea's and it is ours. Woo! Alright guys, so I'm back here and I've been thinking... Loic Remy, I mean... A great guy, great striker and everything. But now we have Pato, who's the same overall and younger. And we also have Falcao, that is three strikers. And we do have Bertrand Traore on the way. Do I do I try and milk Stoke City here? I'm gonna I'm gonna accept if they go all in 24 million. I will accept this bid from uh, Stoke because then it saves me a little bit of stress of trying to move my team around a little bit. And Pedro's out for three weeks as well, so that's a bit of a bummer. But uh, we do have replacements for him on the in the game, and we do have Swansea coming up next. So I guess. I will, um, well, let's see here. Do We have another transfer offer for Loic Remy as well from Norwich. A big signing for them if they can get him. But we're going to also ask for $24 million for for him as well for, from them. Now, they actually put in a bid for Pato, which was really weird. Uh, Norwich, when I was, because I did mess up my recording and stuff. But, yeah, Norwich is trying to get some of our strikers in for sure. And they are, Loic Remy could be headed off to Stoke. They have accepted the deal of $24 million to Stoke City for Loic Remy, so that's a big deal they are going through for us, and that does give us a little bit more money to spend. Alright guys, so this is my team going into this game here against Swansea, our opening game of the season, and uh, yeah, so we are going to give Sergio Busquets his debut for the club, $75.5 million that it, he cost us to bring into the club, so a big thing for him. Gary Cahill, who's in great form, it says he's going to be starting alongside John Terry at the back with Courtois in goal. Let's get into this game and hopefully get a big win to start the season. Season is against Swansea at home here at the bridge and it's going to be a good game. I think I feel that Swansea isn't a team that we're going to take lightly and Nemanja Matic as you guys can see is on the bench for today's game. Loic Remy as well on the bench even though he's probably going to be leaving for Stoke or Norwich if they do accept that offer and whoever gives them the more, most money. Kennedy on the bench which is an interesting one for me. I kind of I wanted to see to leave him on the bench but yeah Sergio Busquets will be number seven. I might change that depending on uh on uh, what if I can find his proper number or something like that along those lines or a better number for him but anyways guys let's get in the game and let's get a big win to see the ball away and uh, now we can press up with Oscar great ball through the middle around the corner for Diego Costa should have been more on his toes there he just got mugged and now Willian Willian Cutting around two or three, strikes it, top corner, 1-0, Willian, beautiful start to this game, well not really start, but a great end to this first half, and it's Willian with a brilliant goal, and as he goes and headbutts the flag, it's a great, great goal for us, I was going to say a great start again, but it's a great goal, Willian, who's been actually one of my favorite players in this game, one of the better, well, argue, probably the best player at Chelsea this season, to be completely honest, gets us on the score sheet here with a brilliant curler top corner against Fabianski 1-0 here in the 40th minute going on there through I believe that was Gary Cahill's mind when he passed it right to the Swansea striker but that is the end of the first half and it is 1-0 for us and it's a bright start for our for us here I'm gonna actually bring on Nemanja Matic for Cesc Fabregas bring on a little bit more of a defensive option and um it looks like uh, should I give Remy I'm gonna give Remy a go here because I think he is. this will be his last game with Chelsea, and he is a legend in the series. If you guys watched my first ever Chelsea career mode, which is last year's FIFA 15, I do highly recommend, because Loic Remy managed to win a massive award for us. I'm not going to tell you what, because I don't want to spoil it, but I guess you guys can probably guess what a striker would win at Chelsea, but he's absolutely phenomenal in that series, and it was a joy to play with him, and I'm going to be a little bit sad to see him go, but... Um, we can make more legends in this series as well. So now we got Nemanja Matic is on the ball. In uh, game so far from us. And uh, definitely worth trying to uh, cuts inside. It's cutting inside. Puts through Oscar. Oscar. Oh, this is lovely. That deserves a goal. What a goal that was. And it's Ivanovic who gets the second goal of the season for us. And what a goal it was. It was an absolute brilliant goal, and Willian was nowhere to tackle him, so he was able to get that in the back of the net, and a brilliant, continued his run. Oscar, I've been super impressed with in that attacking mid position, so I'm definitely going to probably keep him there, and uh, maybe alternate him and Willian, because I've been enjoying both of them. Eden Hazard has been better in this episode. I think I've enjoyed using him quite a bit in this episode, actually, but that should be enough to see off, uh, off this Swansea team here. And uh, clear it again really nice and well there. 
right? He's coming off in replace for the young Kennedy. <coughs> Part of my cough. And uh, Swansea doing the same. They're making a few substitutions as well. Nemanja Matic as well. Playing through Eden Hazard. Oh my word, what a goal that is for three goals to nil. Eden Hazard, what a run. What a ball from Nemanja Matic. And I just made a substitution. And what a goal. And you can see the fans at the bridge are absolutely ecstatic right now. They're probably more happy than I am. But what a ball this is from Nemanja Matic. Just out of the reach of the goal. Oh, what a finish as well. Top corner. Eden Hazard first time left foot. Absolutely phenomenal. And uh, like I said, I've been more impressed with Eden Hazard in this episode. He's been better. And that's good. That's what I like to see. Because he's a guy who can carry a team, uh, Eden Hazard. He didn't really do... He wasn't absolutely un like unbeatable in our last series either on FIFA 15. But uh, he always comes up when you need him. So Eden Hazard is a really important player for this team. And there he opens his campaign for the year. And that is full time here at the Stamford Bridge. Final score, Chelsea 3, Swansea 0. And an absolute... Really good victory for us. It was an absolutely cracking match. But anyways, guys, remember to tell me any transfers that you want to get because it looks like Remy's going to be on his way. So that means we're going to have about 50 million to spend on uh, on some new players. So remember to comment down below those players that you'd like to see. And uh, yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you're new. And until next time, guys, take care.